Some Puerto Ranch residents show higher levels than normal of possible cancer-causing chemicals in their systems, which is concern for those who live near the Aliso Canyon natural gas facility. More than 100 people were tested by Dr. Jeffrey Nordella in the 18 months following the capping of the Aliso Canyon leak, and there are indications they had higher than normal levels of styrene, a derivative of the cancer-causing compound benzene in their systems, plus higher than normal levels of compounds like lithium and uranium. Pat Pope, who lives nearby, says the independent study is only the first step in moving to help and protect area residents. What he'd like to see happen is this. Have the state and the county take a look, and EPA, take a look and see what is really going on. Southern California Gas in a statement says they haven't reviewed the new findings but point to other studies indicating no long-term health effects to residents who live nearby. In Porter Ranch, Pete Demetrio, KNX 1070 News Radio. So, now what? It's been the rub from the beginning. Many locals fear danger from the effects of the gas leak, and now their worries are heightened again after injections resumed at Aliso Canyon. But various gas and public officials say it's fine. No long-term risk. Dr. Jeffrey Nordella, the man behind the latest study, says the past studies looking at air, soil, and dust aren't enough because they're not human beings like his research. There has been no study that has been done addressing the health issues. So when they make a statement like that, that absolutely is not factual. Nordella says individuals in the area should be followed for at least three to five years. In the end, though, the only satisfaction for people in the area may come inside a courtroom if they win their lawsuits. Vicki Moore, KNX 1070 News Radio. People